prosperity me walk out me now wish them no bad we, of course as the defense team Mr. Oswald Cena Smith, Mr. Kemar Robinson and Ms. Tamika Harris is not here uh, we respect the decision of the court we always have to do that but of course there is the right of appeal our clients have instructed us that we should appeal and we will act accordingly You're not like anyone else, you find the way you are. Did you do this all yourself? A smile ignites the room. Sending us up to the time, you know it's cartel. Representing for Blessed D, Gaza Diva. We, of course, as the defense team, Mr. Oswe Sina Smith, Mr. Kemar Robinson, and Ms. Tamika Harris is not here. Uh, we respect the decision of the court. We always have to do that. But of course, there is the right of appeal. Our clients have instructed us that we should appeal and we will act accordingly. A number of serious issues have arisen in terms of this trial. Uh, to include the fact that blame was being laid at the feet of the police at Constant Spring to say that they had forced the witness to say certain things that were not true and even persons were interviewed who were featured in this crime and released um, in those circumstances coupled with the many 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 inconsistencies and some in some instances admissions that he the witness was not being truthful it is fertile ground for appeal and we can take the proceedings the sentence is in respect of Dante Brooks is 17 years uh, in respect of the murder, 15 years in respect of arson, and 15 years in respect of the illegal possession of fire. Mr. Robinson's plan was, uh, well, 17 years for the murder. Yes, for Andre Hans. For Andre Hans. Sorry, 22 years in respect of Mr. Dante Brooks, and the same in terms of the arson and illegal possession of fire. The primary situation is in respect of the conviction itself and the growing of the conviction. That is the main focus and will be the main focus of the appeal because as you appreciate, once that falls, then we would need to go to the issue of sentence. Hey peeps, it's your girl Blessed D Gaza Diva and welcome back to the Blessed D Gaza Diva channel. Happy Sabbath to those of you who celebrate the Sabbath and for those of you who are just having a relaxed in Saturday. I ask you to enjoy to the fullest. Now, this is a follow-up from the video last night on Movado's son being sentenced to life. What are the next steps? What's going to happen? You can hear from the lawyer. They are looking at an appeal. And this is an article from Out of the Gleano. Defense to appeal after Movado's son co-accused get life sentences. The lawyers for murder convicts Dante Brooks and Andre Hines have indicated that they will be appealing the conviction and sentence. Attorney Peter Champagny QC says there is a fertile ground to seek to quash the ruling of the home circuit court. All the Gaza fans, you know what this entails already. So these charges were laid he was sentenced yesterday. He got life sentencing. He was sentenced to 22 years and 15 and I think 17 years respectively and they'll run concurrently. And as I said last night, that simply means that they will happen all together at the same time. So there is some hope behind a dark cloud at least for the family. He's going to spend most of his adult life in prison. And he will be eligible for parole when he is 40 years old. Or he will get out of prison when he's 40 years old. So basically, his teenage years are done. They no longer exist. He's been in there since he has been a minor. And personally, I knew once I saw them kept him in there until he was 18 years old, that's because they wanted to try him as an adult. Now, had he been tried as a minor, I'm sure... And I don't even know if Jamaican statutes or law allows for him to be tried as a minor and they had to keep him by law because our judicial system is very tricky and I really don't understand some of the things. But if he was tried as a minor, then to me, he would have gotten a lesser sentence in. But he got life based on what they're saying. And I guess life in Jamaica is that amount of years. And he will be out by his 40 years old. So he still has another 40 odd years or so to live. God wishing him long life and hope he can enjoy and still have get children. 
and be able to live with them and, and grow with them. I still think that he can have a life. Now, some people are saying that this lawyer is talking about an appeal and it's a waste of time. This is me personally. I'm not saying that Movado shouldn't continue or try for the appeal. I can't say. I'm not in their position to know what he's mentally going through. But at the end of the day, it's his kid and he has to make that decision. Probably if it was my child, I would be doing the same thing. Because even though I just um, explained it and said that he would be out by 40 years, Movado is not sure Movado is soon 40. So if he will be out in the next 22 years, that means Movado, hopefully God gives him long life and he's around to see him come out. So he may not want to take that risk. He want, may want to try from now, but some people are not in agreement with it. And a lot of people are saying that the lawyers and the attorneys, they have to rely on appeal too much and they can't win cases. And the lawyers, they know from the get-go that they still are going to want to do an appeal, even though they know they can't win the case. Lawyers will always appeal. Some are saying, even if they know it is futile, more money, more pocket full all i can say is i want more than anything else for this little young man to stay up he has to stay up i don't know if for him it's mandatory for him to spend the 22 years and the fact that it is life it's possibly mandatory and the other one got a lesser sentence in which is he is mandated to spend 17 years behind bars before he can appeal so i'm assuming it's the same that's applicable to dante that he might have to spend 22 years before he can appeal. The system has proven once again that it's the system. The system has proven once again that it's the system, right? I personally, as I was saying, this whole appeal thing, if I were, if I were the parent, I may consider it, but I'm not the parent, I wouldn't consider it because for them to hold him for two years or until he became an adult, you can see say them definitely mean and want him to stay behind bars. Again, that's my personal take. But as the parent, Mavado, and I'm pretty sure his mother, Delia, must be devastated and distraught right now. And she's probably telling Mavado to do all he can to get him out. So you never know because nobody wants to see their child in prison or dead. That's just two things you don't want to see for your children. You want them to live a happy and fruitful, youthful life. And that's why I kind of feel, you know, torn about this. And he's just 18 years old. They had him from, he was what, 15, 16. And it just system tumble down upon him. One more youth gone in at the system. Anyhow, tell me your thoughts on down below in the comment section, what you think about the appeal. Would you appeal it or would you leave it alone? Or you'd have a different opinion if you were the parent or not the parent. Tell me your thoughts on down below in the comment section. And as per usual, we will have a discussion. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell so that you get all notifications. And if you've not yet smashed the like button on this video, smash the like button, hit the like button and send up the likes on this video and send this out. I'm out. Of course, as the defense team, Mr. Oswe Cena Smith, Mr. Kemal Robinson and Ms. Tamika Harris is not here. Uh, we respect the decision of the court. We always have to do that. But of course, there is the right of appeal. Our clients have instructed us that we should appeal and we will act accordingly. A number of serious issues have arisen in terms of this trial. Uh, to include the fact that blame was being laid at the feet of the police at Constant Spring to say that they had forced the witness to say certain things that were not true and even persons were interviewed who were featured in this crime and released um, in those circumstances coupled with the many, 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 many inconsistencies and some, in some instances, admissions that he, the witness was not being truthful. It is fertile ground for appeal and we can take the proceedings. The sentence is in respect of Dante Brooks is 17 years, uh, in respect of the murder, 15 years in respect of arson, and 15 years in respect of the legal possession of time. Mr. Robinson's plan was, uh, well, 17 years for the murder. Yes, for Andre Hines. For Andre Hines, sorry, 22 years in respect of Mr. Dante Brooks. And the same in terms of the arts and the legal possession of time. The primary situation is in respect of the conviction itself and the growing of the conviction. That is the main focus and will be the main focus of the appeal because as you appreciate, once that falls, then we would need to go to the issue of sentencing.